The Adventures of Tom Sawyer was one of the first games that I reviewed on YouTube back in September 2007. It was taken down because of poor quality. Even though the quality of this review isn't all that great either, it's much better than what I was doing when I first started. As you can see, this game was released on the NES in 1989. I have never read the Tom Sawyer novel, but I have heard of it. I went to GameFAQs to see the story of the game. But all he did was just say, get ready for an adventure in this cave, and in this world, and in this river. Doesn't really tell me much. So anyway, I will tell you right off the bat that I do not like this game. As I mentioned already, I reviewed this back in 2007. I did not like this game at all. It's not the worst game out there, but still. Being such a noob at reviewing video games on YouTube, this part right here was lagging, as well as the entire freaking review. So I decided after five years to redo this review. I don't know what possessed me to do so, but here we go. And I fell already. So you start out on this ship as you dodge barrels and seagulls. And your weapons are rocks, I guess. And, ah! One thing I don't like already, the graphics of the game. Yeah, yeah, I know it's an NES game, but come on. They could have done better. I mean, Mega Man 2 was released in 1988, a year before this. Come on, there you go. And look at the mountains, the outline of the mountain back there. And this is yeah, it's just not a good looking game so far. That T I just got. I don't know what it stands for, but if you collect 20 of them, you get an extra life. And so you fight little boy pirate wannabes, I don't know what the heck. Bear 13, I don't know. And once again, see that mountain back there, just, that's not good looking design for a game. Yeah, I'm not a game designer, but come on, I know they can do better than that. And it's, <laughs> yeah, that's some good offense, just jump up and down like an idiot with your sword, yeah, you're gonna get, you're gonna win. <laughs> And now you got mice chasing after you, and the game is fairly challenging. But as you play, it just becomes, it, you just realize it's just mediocre. And you have a timer on the top of the screen, and I don't know how much time you got. It don't count down, so, but it looks like you have plenty of time. Whoa, this kid has a gun, he didn't use it. Whoa, dang, I'm stuck right there, can't get past that pillar. Oh, look out. What the heck? If he has a gun, why didn't he shoot me? Why did he just try to jump over me like an idiot? Ah, oh, what the... <laughs> that mouse just came out of nowhere and pwned me. So when you die, you wake up from your dream where you were dreaming in class, and it's game over. Yeah, and I guess to see your high score, you have a limited it continues in this game. So if I was in stage 2, I would just continue in stage 2. At least you don't have to start all the way over to stage 1. Now the mouse again. I know it's going to show up and... Whoa! What is this, Action 52 thing going on here? Just The character just randomly glitches and... Wow, that was easy. Nice hard fought battle there. Now you gotta fight these floating octopuses. Ah, oh, come on! And this is the skull icon. As these are collected, the total number of T's will decrease by 10 per skull. And to be honest, this first level stage music is not that bad. So we got get to work on you Tom Sawyer 8-bit stereo. 
now I arrive at the first boss of the game, a giant octopus. And this boss battle music is absolutely terrible. And these boss battles, yeah, that's it. That's it. That Hey, yeah, what a dramatic boss battle. All the boss battles in this game is lame as well as the music. Maybe that's why the boss battle music was freaking lame. Because the boss battle was lame. Anyway, now we're in stage 2 and I just died like a complete idiot. So stage 2 is an overhead stage. And the music in this stage is pretty decent. This overhead view right here reminds me of King Salmon Fishing for Sega Genesis. Except Tom Sawyer is not going to be doing any fishing today. Well, in a way he is because the fish attacks him, but he's not going to be catching them to eat them. And also, if you play in two-player mode, I think you play as Huckleberry Finn. I've never actually done that because I've never really cared to, honestly. And I, who's going to play this game with me? I mean, come on. And you got to jump right here. Make sure not to jump off of the raft and into the water like an idiot. And yeah, obstacles against the wall, against the green, the grass, and whatever. They will halt you. Halt, halt. Halt you. They'll make you stop and... and uh, oh, no. Just like this right here. And uh, Yep. And the screen will catch you and you will die. And, whoa, watch out for those things. I don't know what they are. I'm not sure if they actually touch you. They look like they're underwater, so I don't know how they can really touch me unless they hit the raft. And not Tom Sawyer, but anyway. And of course, watch out for the logs. Grab the T. Grab the T weapon, as Skip Rogers would say. Okay, now we got. Ah, oh, yes, and the heart makes you. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, it's pretty much a star from all your brothers, just make you temporarily invincible. <laughs> and the music, though, is not as cool as the. Mario Star music. This game is really like, I guess for seven year olds. I mean, really, I don't, I don't know. The game has not, it looks like it has not aged well. Now I got the slingshot. I can shoot straight, even though we're in this overhead stage, it doesn't matter now. But when you're in a regular horizontal stage, you can now sh use the slingshot to shoot straight instead of throwing rocks over your opponent's head. N opponent, over your enemy's head. This isn't a freaking sports game. If it is, it's, I guess, a great outdoor fishing. I don't know what the heck. And, oh, that was stupid. Some boy's trying to throw a rock at me anyway. I got game over again, but it doesn't matter. Because you have unlimited continues. So here we go again with stage two. Now watch out for that douchebag over there. You also avoid the whirlpools with the vortexes. Dang it, come on. Man, I wish I could just swim over there and beat the snot out of that kid. I mean, where's that kid's parents at? Come on. Actually, I did that when I was a kid. I used to throw rocks at random cars that came by the house, so I can't be talking. But anyway. And now we arrive at the second boss, which is a huge crocodile. Or alligator, whatever. And, I mean, in real life, come on. You would be just tripping. Like, are you serious? But as the boss battle music will tell you, this is a lame battle. It's not as intimidating as it seems. You gotta hit him right in his gap teeth. And, yeah, see that? That's it. Come on, for a giant alligator? It should be an epic boss battle, but it's not. The boss battle with Flashman from Mega Man 2 is more epic than that. But anyway, we are now in the third level. Um, I guess a forest. And this level will drive you insane. This level is already getting on my nerves. Ah, dang it, I got the skull. Yes, I got the slingshot. Now I can shoot straight with more accuracy. Oh, well, that was fun. This part right here kind of reminds me of Little Nemo the Dream Master. And, wow. 
I can't believe I'm comparing this game to that awesome game. Yeah, now this part really did start to remind me of Little Nemo the Dream Master, the first stage. But thank God, Little Nemo is a much better game with much better music. Well, it looks like Tom is on shrooms. If not shrooms, I don't know what they are, but anyway. Whoa, almost got pwned right there. Watch out for the seagull. Okay, now, ah, thank freaking young grasshopper killed me. How, how am I going to get killed by a grasshopper? Come on. Oh, now I got to deal with these butterflies and monkeys. I'm tired of this monkey business. Yeah, I know it's terrible, but yeah. What the heck? Whoa! Fighting a purple Donkey Kong? Yeah, it, okay, now it's green as he throw rocks at me or something. And what a shocker, this boss battle is easy too. Wow. <laughs> Seriously, could the makers of this game make this game decently challenging? Well, the stages are decently challenging, but the freaking boss battles are embarrassing. So here we are in stage four, we're in a haunted castle. Oh man, this is Castlevania gone bad. Here we go, Haunted Castle. Oh. No, wait, this is a Haunted Castle. Those candles will get on your freaking nerves. I just try to run. Just run under them as fast as I can. Ah! And then you run to a freaking bat, and the Michelin Tire guy is coming after you now. Yeah, this stage has caused me a a lot of frustration as you can see. Oh, ah, come on, man. The freaking skeleton just comes out of nowhere and pones me. Ah. All right, here we go. Come on. Ah. All right, round three. Ooh. Oh, man. Whoa. He could kill me right now, but he's not. What the heck is he doing? Yes, got him, finally. Go up the stairs. <sighs> Dang, you gotta jump up the stairs. That's that's kind of tedious. Drop the Marshmallow Man, and... Oh, what the heck did he just drop? Oh, look out. What the heck? Now we got some Metroid enemies now? What the heck? K Mac from Mario World? What? Oh, look out. <laughs> yes, I beat the guy from Solstice. Now for the third floor. Well, I kind of fight death. I've been. Uh oh! <laughs> We're speaking of death. Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Nice. Alright, looks like we are at the end of the stage. What? As you fight an evil Statue of Liberty. Wow, that's a... Uh, yeah. But then again, is it going to be a fierce boss battle? Most likely not, as... What the... Little purple dragon's coming after me now. Okay, uh, yeah, you gotta hit that. Well... Oh, pfft. come on, man. All right, here we go again. Why is the boss so motionless? Come on, man. Man, the creators of this game are very lazy on the animations. Ah, oh, that's what you gotta do. You gotta kill those little enemies first and then shoot his staff. Pfft. Wow. They really did not put much effort into these boss battles at... At... Oh. All right.
Alright, stage five. This level gets my freaking daggum nerves. Cause these freaking raindrops or whatever they are just come after me. Man, they're they're kinda hard to hit. The stage music the stage music is not that bad though. Alright, and ah, oh, dang! Now they're really amping up, amping up the challenge now on the uh, on the stages. Even though the, the, the boss of the stage will probably find a freaking rainbow or something, they don't do nothing. Man, those freaking birds! What are those the angry birds? Man, ah, oh, come on! Man, those things are frustrating. It's supposed to be a happy stage. But <laughs> this game is definitely not making me happy. Watch out for Tweety. All right. Whoa. That's like a bonus world in Mario Brothers. Oh, look at the little house made out of clouds. Aw, oh, dang it, now the freaking Ninja Gaiden Eagles are in here now? Come on, man. Aw, oh, what? Aw, oh, come on, that was cheap. Okay, come on now. It's a balloon. Dang, man. It's weird. Freaking balloon floating across the screen. Man, how you... Ah, oh, How you get freaking, freaking get past that lightning? Okay, so I later found out that the balloon is what you need. The balloon is the is your friend in the stage, so you can get past all that BS lightning. And of course, you gotta watch out for the Mario stars. Ah, then the freaking green puff, the magic dragon, whatever Pokemon, whatever it is, kills you out of nowhere. All right, let's start this again. Again. All right, come on now. Let's get it this time. All right. Yeah. There. Oh. Oh. That was freaking close. Finally got past him. Oh. Come on, man. Really? Really? I want to scream at the top of my lungs right now, but I can't because I got some roommates that are sleeping. Screw it, I'll wake him up. <gasps> I was kidding. Um, come on, man, this is torture. What the? It, now, all of a sudden, they want to shoot fire at me? Come on, let's... Man, let's beat this thing. Oh. No, no, no. Oh, it's freaking close. Oh, no, not the Ninja Guy and the Eagles. Oh, finally got past that part. Now I'm battling volcanoes here or what? Whoa. Is this the boss or the mini boss? Oh, dang. oh, freaking lightning. Dang it. All right, here we go again. Come on. What is this thing? Oh, it's not the boss. The boss. That lame boss battle music's not playing. Dang it! Freaking lightning again! Man, lightning struck twice in the same place. Okay. Uh, hopefully, I found a safe spot here. <laughs> Come on! What the? Heck? Man, did I hit him? Oh, oh good, thank god, finally. Oh shoot. Don't get, oh yes, jump in the balloon. What the heck? Oh shoot, well, whatever it is, I'm at the boss now. Maybe guess it's Zeus or somebody. Or it's a good year, Blimp. What the heck? Whoa, it has heat seeking missiles. Sinking heat seeking missiles. 
Whoa, whoa, I, whoa, I gotta admit, finally some sort of a decent boss battle. This reminds me of Silent 2, Wing Fortress Zone, and that one level from Shinobi 3. Oh, I think that last level. Shinobi 3. Ah, oh, dang! What is freaking airship from Super Mario Bros. 3? Am I about to fight Ludwig, Ludwig von Koopa or somebody? Ah, oh, come on, really? Alright, come on, let's get it this time. Let's get this freaking level over with, for crying out loud. Get this review over with. What is this, the engine? Oh, yes, please tell me I beat it. Well, I... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, thank God. Wow. Finally done with stage five, and now this is the final stage of the game. In which they changed things up a bit. Now we're scrolling to the left. And this is the underground cave where you fight rainbow scorpions, and whoa, watch out for the spikes. Whoa. Okay, I thought I died right there. Yeah, okay, I'm just throwing rocks like crazy because I, I got this far. I don't want to die. Come on. Those are huge scorpions. I mean, really. Oh, man. Oh, bats. Dang it. Freaking game's dropping me batty. What the heck was that? It came out of nowhere. Whoa. Okay, they come from the waterfall and you don't know where. Well, this is a memorization right here, so you gotta be careful and remember where they freaking come from. Music in stage is probably the best so far. And as I fail again, Whoa, now we're at Flashman stage? Watch out. Now, now we're at an, an ice part of the level. Ouch! Okay, come on, look out. Oh, yes. Whoa. Snake. Snake! This reminds me of Super Mario Bros. 2 now, the Ice Land. Okay, now we go from ice and fire. We're playing fire and ice now. Whoa, what the heck are those? Freaking dragons. Yes, now I got the slingshot. Ooh, now what's up? Yes, please don't die. You got this far. Uh oh, here we go. What the? Fighting Goku on a... On... Riding on top of Loch Ness, of the Loch Ness monster. Okay, what? <laughs> really? That's the boss fight. That's it. As you rescue Princess Peach, and the timer is still counting up on the top left corner of the screen. What the? And. Okay, now we see the ending, and <laughs> he finds the feather from his dreams, and yeah, wow, good ending. Good ending there. Okay, um... <sighs> okay, I'm not going to rage like we guy did in his less disgust of Rocky and Bullwinkle, but yeah, all, all I can say is this game sucks. I mean, it's it's not the worst game out there, but it's so mediocre. I mean, what was said a corporation slash winky soft thinking? I mean, this game is so mediocre, and I mean, yeah, I'm not familiar with the with the uh, what's it called the Tom Sawyer novel, but after doing some research, I found out that the final boss's name is Crazy Engine Joe. And apparently he's the villain of the mo of the novel, and he haunts Tom Sawyer's dreams. Okay, well, if he and he's supposed to be like real evil. Okay, for a real evil boss, he really sucked. I mean, that was one of the lamest boss battles I've ever seen in my life. 
uh, that I've ever fought in in my life. I mean, the freaking Zeppelin, Led Zeppelin, whatever it was called from stage five, that was a decent boss in this game. If you're the boss fight in this game was so lame. It was absolutely pathetic. I mean, how pathetic is that? This game, I mean, I think the the makers got lazy or something. They could have done much better with this game. This game could have been a decent side scroller. I mean, and don't even get me started. I, I mean, I've already talked about it, but don't get me started again on the freaking boss battle music. Oh heck, I'm already started. Let's talk about the boss battle music. I mean, really, when you think, I mean, here's what eight bit. Here's a here's an example of what an eight bit boss battle. Um, track should sound like. That is ECW. Those are good boss battle um, soundtracks or tracks. Um, but this is like, and Tom Sawyer, it's like, I don't feel no sense of urgency or sense of danger or whatever when I'm getting ready to fight a boss in this in this game because, I mean, the boss battle music is so lame. I mean, it's it's, it's too happy. It's like, it's supposed to be, ha you know, I, I, pretty much everything about this game is lame. Pretty much. There are a few good things about it. Some of the tracks are good. Um, gameplay, eh. I mean, maybe two players would be kind of fun to play if you're a kid and you spend the night over your friend's house in the weekend or something, but I never play this game with in, uh, two players. The second player you play with is Huckleberry Finn. I don't really care to play a two-player game with anybody with this game. Um, but, you know, after five years, decide to review this game again, this time with a decent review and in this review this is my first time beating the game and I'm very disappointed um, you know it's been five years I gave another chance it's still just as bad as I remember it um, the last level though was pretty decent as far as uh, um, music and challenge and the design of the game except for the final boss that was a joke that was a freaking joke I mean the freaking fish that came out from the waterfall Gave me a much more challenge than Crazy Engine Joe. It's ridiculous. This game is a major disappointment. Um, very, very mediocre at best. Um, yeah, and don't. I mean, yeah, you don't want to play it. I mean, so unless you want to review it and make fun of it just for fun. But this game is not ECW to say the least. I wonder what Star Soldier would give it. He'd probably give it maybe a 47 out of 100. I don't know. Oh, and look what it says in the box right there, if you can read it. Action-packed high adventure with Tom Sawyer. Yeah, okay. Anyway, that is it. Uh, thank God I'm out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. Take care.